Hi, my name is Valley Price, and I just um, spent the whole day directing my feature film. The first day of shooting, the first day, I've been working on this film for years. Uh, you can talk, making movies is a lot about, or getting a movie made, is a lot about talking up your movie. It's about talking shit. It's about getting people excited, especially when you're crowdfunding. And for years I've been talking about how great this movie's gonna be, but I haven't actually done anything yet. Somebody told me they like admired me. I'm like, I haven't done anything except talk a lot. And to show up on, on set and put my money where my mouth was and like have a kick ass day, uh, felt really fucking good. Like I've been, I, I, I was very excited. It was an awesome day. My fucking cast was sick. I worked with Chanel Hart and Bugs Matrix today all day. And we did this beautiful, like music video looking, like erotic, like touching, sad, heart wrenching, beautiful thing that I'm so proud of and is so meaningful and so touching. And I'm on such a fucking high from it. And everyone I worked with was so good on previous projects. I mean, it takes a long time to find a good crew too in movies. Like my last project, or the, for the first half of this project, um, I uh, was working with people who weren't as experienced perhaps. No, no shade, like, but like realistically, but let's just say we weren't a good fit. And having people on this set who like respected me more and uh, were like picking up the slack when I like, you know, was like froze up or whatever, had like a bad moment. Like somebody at my DP just like came in. We were on a time frame and there's like a blocking thing. And I like, had like, was just like, didn't do it as fast as she did. It just stepped up and like, was like, you move from here to here to here. And like having somebody like that to lean on who like is a genius and to have a producer who, I, it was just, it was just a fantastic experience. It really was. This was such a good day. And I have like two more weeks of shooting and hopefully, Every day is as good as today. Um, you know, to address the thing that happened, um, with 24 hours till sh to our first day of shooting, uh, our lead that I've been working with for six months had designed a wardrobe for and written an entire scenes specifically around the fact that they were like non-binary. Um, it's very like, um, and it's very hard to find perfectly passing or perfectly non-binary um, actors uh, at the drop. Any like, no matter what, there's just not many non-binary people, and. Um, and we were put in a very difficult situation and uh, no shade to anyone. Uh, like what everything was on good. It was just one of those things that like was an unfortunate personal circumstance. Um, and I was freaking the fuck out. I was ready to fucking eat a gun. Like, honestly, like it was, I like, we'd spend so much time working with this person and like, there's so many words, just giving someone else a script with like no notice whatsoever. If we can even find someone, which it took me a year and a half to cast this movie. So, like if there's like I've done video blogs about what a nightmare it was finding anyone who, like to be in this movie. So like like finding one with 24 hours notice, uh, kind of like my worst case scenario. That and like getting COVID the first day of shooting. That was my other fear. But like I, like that wouldn't even I don't know which would be worse. Um, probably probably COVID. But um, and I thought I had it yesterday. I was so panicked I took a COVID test. But it was just a stra thank thank Jesus Christ. You know, King of the Jews, uh, Lord of Nazareth. You know, speaker of Speaker of love. But anyway, um, they dropped out and uh, we've instantly found the best actor of all time. Juilliard trained, insanely cool, insanely good looking, perfect in every way. I mean, to be honest, I had um, she was she, she almost got Bugs Matrix well. I, I mean, she was very close to being cast initially. Um, like if it like it came down to her and Bugs Matrix and like we want Bugs Matrix. Um, but in hindsight, like they're like they're both just. Like, and like the fact that she was available to do it and she worked out, like we won the fucking lottery. Sasha Forrest is gonna be the greatest movie star of all time. Uh, we pushed, we moved some things around, which is expensive and complicated, but we got her four days to memorize the incredibly difficult 50 pages of dialogue heavy, nuanced, meaningful, complex script. And I'm 100% confident it's gonna be better than it would have been anyway. I really do. I really think it's best for everyone what happened. I didn't like, obviously it, uh, it's, there's some frustrating things about it. Sure, but like whatever, like it's nobody's fault and it's gonna be a better movie for it, which, you know, considering I was like literally like having a panic attack on Twitter spaces. <laughs> I like, as soon as I found out, I, I've, been doing, I've been addicted to Twitter spaces. It's more addicting than Twitter. And I have like my oomphies and my moots and my regs and you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I've been doing like 14 hour spaces. If you're on Twitter and you wanna hear me and I just like for fucking, um, Cope. I just went on Twitter. I'm like, I lost my fucking lead. My life is over. My movie is fucked. Like, it is, and it, like, it, for all I know, it could have been. But, um, Sasha came through and it was fucking cool. And we got, we also got an amazing audition from somebody else who would, would also have been a cool option. Oni, my friend Oni, Oni Necrosis is so cool. 
Um, but so yeah, this is the last. This this poster is no longer valid. I I'm gonna like let it hang for a week or two until the movie's done, and we have a new poster. I think that's fair. But um, would have been cool. It was definitely a cool looking poster. But I'm so happy to move forward. Um, the other thing is it's shooting my movie. Let me talk about that. I, the actual thing doing it today was so working with people. Mm, working with people who loved it as much as I did. I would say my worst day making a movie is the best day of my life, and like. Absolutely true. I fought so long. I fought years of fucking the battles I fought to get to this moment where I just say action and have two people kiss. Kind of absurd that that's what's involved. Like, it's kind of absurd what went into the amount of, like, how it was paid for. You know, a lot. I'll leave it at that. A lot went into it. Um, and then we got there today, and, like, we got basically every shot except one which was a luxury shot. And, like, we got out on time. We closed out. We shot... Um, like a direct homage, like legally separate to uh, my favorite scene in Fallen Angels, the Blondie scene. There's a poster of it that's been on my wall, on my second monitor too, um, with Chanel Hart, who I met at a film festival, and she's like a top five porn star. And aside from that, she's also just like was amazing. She was amazing. I, working with her, she had such a good attitude. She had such positivity. She had such focus and such natural talent. Um, and like everyone, it was insane. I am high. I am fucking high on it. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning and um, it is 10, 15 and I just got home. And I'm just kind of decompressing by ranting at you about the basics, you know, without anyone to prompt me. I could get into some weird topics. I'm very easy to get on weird topics. I've learned in space. Topics. Oh, the other cool thing is my, uh, my lead actress also has a habit of doing uh, dumb Italian accents which is the most toxic trait someone around me can have, because I love that. And all day we do with the voices, and it's not the most femme habit I have, but I'm not on me, like we make in the movie. You like in the movie? I do that all day, so, you know, sorry, society. I'm only the almost most femme bimbo in the world. The other thing, too, is, um, yeah, fucking bimbo auteur shit. All, the, all my gender fair flags, this place is like a mess. I don't give a fuck. I'm in movie mode. Everything is a mess. I've, I'm only thinking one day in advance. I have so much to do. One day is like cool, but I have like 14. And uh, not every day is a shot, but I, I, I will definitely still be shooting on the 16th. That's 16 days away. So I have 60, I have like, this is my life from now on. And so, um, pro and also this was an easy day and it was a fucking hard ass day. Um, but my crew's so solid, my DP so solid. I'm fucking, I'm so happy. I'm so, this movie's going to be good. And also the other thing is too is like, I now have something that is good. The thing we shot is good. You know what I mean? So like even if, it's very encouraging to be like, oh no, I, I thought it'd be the best movie in my head and now I've seen it and it is. <laughs> or at least the movie I want to make. You know, it's a legit film. Uh, I've never made a legit film and it's easy to think you wouldn't because there's so much that goes into it. And there's still going to be a lot, music and editing. Like figuring out the music on this is going to be a nightmare. Um, but I'm probably repeating myself. I'm probably rambling. I had the best day of my fucking life, hands down. Everyone involved with it was so cool. I'm so happy. And it's going to be so good. And maybe I'll keep doing video blogs on this now. This seems like a an interesting topic. I don't know. I, I've noticed other filmmakers don't tweet, but all day I'm like, I'm fucking sick of films. What's up, bitch? Or like, whatever. Like, like no matter how busy you are, like, pulling out your phone and just, like, saying some dumb shit. I don't know. I, I'm, more, I'm more of a shit poster than, like, a, an official tweeter, though. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It was a crazy day, and I'm really tired, and I'm just, like, rambling. And thank you. Um, I don't know. We're, we're making a fucking movie. Okay, big up. Peace. Violet. What up?